Hello MATLAB users. We were talking about file I.O. or file input and output. So if I want to open this file here, AAPL CSV, then I'm going to do a command. Um, file ID is just a variable to hold on to a number corresponding to that file. And F open is what we use to open a file. So I'll type in the name of the file and I want to open this file for reading. Now, um, if I were to misspell a file name, then that variable FID is going to get negative one. So if you want to add in a little check here to say if FID uh, is equal to negative one, then there was an error. Check your file name. Else, we can go ahead and read in the data from this file. So let me fix the spelling of this and then I'm going to notice that my file ID is not negative one. I was able to successfully open this. And at the end of reading from a file, it's a good practice to close our, your file. Um, so I'll add an F close to the end of this file. Now how do I read in the data from the file? Well let's take a look at the file. So I opened it in Notepad++ and here's what the file is. I went to Yahoo Finance and the NASDAQ and looked up Apple and so this has comma delimited information about the stock prices starting with the the date and then the opening price then the high, low, close, um, and the volume is is just an integer. It doesn't have a decimal point. So the volume of how much was traded. So let's say I'm interested in graphing the closing stock prices. So if I were to read this in, then it's um, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth column of data. Let's say I want to go ahead and graph that. Or maybe maybe I should grab the sixth column of data, the adjusted close. So either the fifth or the sixth, um, I'm going to graph that. Um, but first, I have to read this data in from the file. And how should I read this in? Well, if I'm reading in this data, um, we could use fscanf. We've talked about that before. But I want to teach you a new command for file I/O, and the name of the command is textscan. TextScan is really good if you have different columns of data. And for instance, in this uh, data, my first column has dates. So I could read those in as strings. My second column has floating point numbers for my opening price. And we actually end up having one, two, three, four, five different floating point numbers in a row. And then we finally got the, the volume at the end, which is just an integer. So this is the format of each column of data, and it's OK that they're not all the same. Um, and then TextScan assumes that the delimiter or the special character in between each bit of data is a space. But in this case, the special character between each bit of data is a comma. So I'm going to add one little bit to this to say the delimiter is actually a comma. So what happens when I run this? I'll go ahead and run this. Well, I read everything into the variable s, so let's take a look at s. And s is actually a cell array, which we haven't talked about before. A cell array, imagine there's different containers, and in the, in the first container, we've got all of our dates, and in the second container, we've got all the opening prices. And so we can look at any of these individual containers and see what's inside. And we could also look, so we've got our first container that has the dates. We could look and see, well, what is the, the first date inside of that? Um, kind of like when you were using two-dimensional arrays, you had two indexes. Um, here we can pull out the first date. But anyway, we've read them all in, and now we literally just want to plot whatever is in that sixth container. So we can just type in plot s curly brace 6 and it will plot those stock prices um, and we can see the trend for the stock prices pretty cool and that didn't take us very many lines of code and we got all the data from a file one slight improvement i could make is to label the x-axis with the dates and i've got i'm going to copy and paste that from a, another little bit of code so to change the um, the plotting so that it's using 
the dates, we've got a few lines of code here, date num. So we're specifying that the dates that we have are in year, 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 month, month, day, day format. Um, and then when we're plotting it, we're going to use that date information that we adjusted um, to a MATLAB standard format. And then we're going to use those for the X axis. Um, so let's see, what did I mistype? Oh, I changed my variable name um, to S here and S here. So I'll go ahead and run this. And now, even better, we've got the dates along the X axis. So that's a little bit about text scan. Really useful when you have, like in this example, this was um, comma delimited data. A lot of times with Excel, you can save things as a CSV file and you get comma delimited data. So text scan is perfect for reading that in.